Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 10 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Miriam has got 63 flowers and nine vases, but she first, throw, first throws away nine flowers because they had broken stems. So let's take care of that first. We're gonna end up putting an equal number of all the flowers that are left in each vase, but we need to get rid of these nine flowers. So we can write a number sentence if we want to, right? We can say 63, minus nine, and let's see, we can go ahead and do that. We're gonna to need to go ahead and regroup there. So that's gonna be five, and that's gonna be 13. So now we've got four, so it looks like we've got 54 left. So what we did here is we just took our a total to begin with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and write a big number sentence for us. We're gonna do 63 minus nine, and then we're gonna put an equal number of all flowers left into each vase. Okay, now we've got nine vases. So then we're going to divide by nine. Now let me show you something. This is something you're gonna get into up in fifth grade. So we did two things first. We subtracted, then we're about to divide. But we have to put a little parentheses around here because if we don't, Division typically comes before subtraction when you have multiple steps. Multiplication and division are always come before addition and subtraction when you do multiple steps. So that's why you put the parentheses to make sure you subtract first. So we have 54 left. We've got nine vases. So let's just, well, I'll just draw circles, pretend these are vases. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. It says we put an equal number of all flowers into each vase. And what is the greatest number of flowers that she put into each vase? All right, so that the greatest number means we're going to use as many of them as we can um, until we just kind of run out, but it has to be an equal number in each one. So I'm just going to put one in each, and we'll just see what we get until we run out of our, right now we know this is 54. So really what we're looking now is 54 divided by nine. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so nine times two is 18, that makes sense. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, that's nine times three is 27. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, nine times four is 36. We're gonna do tally, so let's just go ahead and put that diagonal. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So we've got nine times five is 45, and let's see, nine times five is 45. So we've got 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Oh, and look at that, 54. So it looks like we can say that is going to equal six. So let's see, six times nine, if we know our Multiplication facts, yes, that is going to be 54. So it looks like our answer is going to be this six right here, J. Now, where did some of these other numbers come from? Well, if you didn't take these nine away, right? If you just did 63 divided by nine, you just skip that first step, you would have gotten the seven right here. Not sure where we got the eight or the two, but our answer is J.